I love burritos! What's going on, hashtag Burritos Nation? It's your boy, Jacob, the Rainbow Warrior here with an episode, believe it or not, of WWE Supercards. All of the people that subscribe to me. Um, oh, cool. This is a Giants Unleashed game. Jeff Hardy, cool beans. But for those of you that um, missed my WWE Supercard videos, I thought that I'd do a video every once in a while. This is the beginning of a new tier, SummerSlam 20 tier, so that's pretty cool beans. So I thought I'd go ahead and I have credits left over. I'm going to do what I call a huge SummerSlam 20 pack opening. I don't know if I'm going to open one, two, three, nine, a million, but we'll at least open one pack but we'll open some packs in this video so i can say i opened a bunch of packs first of all let's open up a king of the ring pack oh my gosh i got myself 25 draft picks and a vanguard bobby fish and a vanguard aj styles the phenomenal one that's really cool all right um and now let's go ahead and open up a free pack because free packs are so cool. It's the man, it's the rock. The man and the rock. We get ourselves two credits. That's what I'm talking about. And a, and a Candice LeRae Cataclysm. Cool beans. All right. So um, now I'm going to play some gameplay because you guys haven't seen me play any gameplay in months. Um, maybe I'll, play, I'll just play a wild because I'm feeling wild today, guys. Um, you know what else is wild? not eating burritos that's just insanely like wild you're the oh my gosh okay all right so i have 83 draft picks so we'll go ahead and you know do some draft picks i guess unless it's not gonna let me i don't know i guess i have to play the game first and then we'll do some draft picks and then after that we'll go ahead and get ourselves a nice thing with bob but what was i gonna say oh yeah what's wild is not eating burritos that is about as wild as you can get honestly because eating burritos is the best thing in the world let me know in the comments below if you guys have eaten any burritos lately because i have not unfortunately but that's because i don't want to go out with this coronavirus because it's crazy man it's crazy it's tons of people dying unfortunately and i'm so so sorry if you've had to go through that it's definitely been a hard time for anyone um during these crazy times but I do love you, my burrito lovers, and hopefully you guys still love me. Um, I, what you can expect from my channel in the future, I'm definitely going to be doing some more belt reviews down the line. I am, I have, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, some belts coming later this year, an AEW World Championship belt, which is pretty cool beans. And that should be here probably December time at the very latest. Um, but we'll have to see with how things go over and like locking down in Pakistan because that's where I'm getting the belt. For those of you that um, know about bootleg belts and stuff like that, um, most of the time you hear bad things about Pakistan <laughs> making belts. But I found specific um, belt makers that are fantastic and that's where I got my IWGP United States Championship belt from a Pakistan maker. So... Um, but this is actually a different Paxton maker. The, the one that I got made my US IWGP championship was Martin Ahmed from ELT Belts. This one is from a newer belt maker, been around for just about a year, but they've already been uh, like voted as uh, within the group as like the second or third best um, belt maker. And um, they're called um, Mayan Belts, which is pretty cool, with um, a guy named Mayan uh, Muda Mudasser. And then their middleman, the guy that um, talks to them to everyone, because he's obviously a lot better at English. His name is Eddie Williams, and he helps you get everything figured out there. And from uh, from what I've seen, they're very, very reliable and trustworthy, and that's very, very cool beans. So yeah, oh my gosh, it's the man, Becky Lynch. It's Mustafa Ali, who is absolutely horribly used in WWE. They build him up like he's going to have some cool comeback and stuff like that. He does an awesome job on Twitter doing his own promos. And unfortunately, just WWE just doesn't use him right like a lot of other people. And I guess this is the time where I could let you guys know that um, after going about like years and years and years of forcing myself to watch the WWE product... I finally got to the point where I just couldn't take anymore. Uh, I'm not going to take anything, take anything away from you guys. If you guys watch it, that's cool. I'm glad that you enjoy it if you do. 
but if you don't enjoy it, just do what I did. Eventually get to the point where you just, you know what, I don't have to watch this. Um, I watch the YouTube highlights. I, I still watch NXT fully. NXT is awesome. NXT is actually tonight. It's going to be the first time I watch NXT actually live. So I usually watch AEW Dynamite live. But because, because of the NA, the NBA playoffs, Dynamite's being moved to Saturday this week. So I will be watching NXT live tonight. I always watch NXT. I just usually watch it after a Dynamite. But Raw and SmackDown to me just is not worth watching. There's usually about like two... Like, maybe three things good in each show, max. I'm a, not a fan at all of constant disqualifications and constantly having interruptions in matches. I'm more okay with interruptions in matches than I am with DQs. But in my opinion, my personal opinion, there is no reason to have a DQ. You can have a much different um, scenario finish to a match while still getting all the good things that you can get from it. And I just feel like there is zero point in actually having a disqualification finish, where in reality you can just have someone jump someone after the match. It's literally just, I, there, in my opinion, there is no point in having any disqualification finishes. And that's just me. But yes. How are you guys doing in WWE Supercard? For those of you that are still playing, if you're not playing, I don't blame you. It is very paid to win, but... It's it's fun to just get on every once in a while, so that's why I think I'm planning to do get, get on every tier, maybe do a little bit of a pack opening, play a little bit for you guys, and that's cool. How long is this video? Six minutes. Not bad, not bad. All right, so I think we'll get these picks done here, and then we'll go ahead and, you know, do some stuffs. Yeah. All right, so. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I don't know why I just decided to um, speak in Spanish to 10. Um, I've been uh, looking at some hiragana characters for Japanese. I'm not, I don't, whenever I get interested in trying to learn a new language, I, I, I get like obsessed with it for a few days, but I never really get too into it. <laughs> I did do Duolingo for Spanish though, 473 days, but then I stopped doing that about like a little less than a year ago. Um, but yeah. I like I like different cultures. In my opinion, the American culture isn't. And I'm not trying to be anti-American or anything like that, but because I am American, <laughs> but I just think it's we don't have anything too like cool when it comes to cultures. We sell fireworks. It's kind of cool. Um, when we eat hot dogs at baseball games, <laughs> I just think a lot of things about other cultures like Japan and. Uh, Mexico, I, th I think they have a lot cooler, like, cultural uh, traditions and stuff. And I'm just a big fan of different uh, traditions and cultures. Although people that are not from America, they might think that America has really cool cultures. I don't know. The world may never know. Cool, new star ratings, yeah. When is, I just saw that um, Summer Slam 19 Otis card right there. When is Otis going to cash in? And, I mean, he doesn't have to cash in yet, but the fact that they've done such a horrible job at him... Um, making any attempt to uh, even tease a cash-in, besides that one time against Braun, from what I can remember, I just don't understand why they haven't put any effort into trying to tease any of that. I, I would think that they would want to do that to make him look bigger, especially if they're planning on him winning, which I think they are. All right, but anyways, let's go and go to the store. We're going to go ahead and do ourselves a pack opening right here of an Elemental to SummerSlam 20. What are we going to get? It'll be huge for my deck no matter what because my deck is currently WrestleMania 36 plus plus. And I think that this will automatically bring it to the next tier. I think that I think the next tier after WrestleMania 36 plus plus is Elemental, right? Am I wrong? I don't know. But we're going to go in and get this pack right here. Purchase in progress. 5,500 credits. Three, two, one. Boom. We get ourselves. It looks like it's going to be an Elemental. But that's okay. Biggie Vanguard. Elemental Sensational Sherry. Cool. Double Manager. And Jordan Devlin. All right. So, cool. We got my first ever Elemental card. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. With a like, 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 comment, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see all of y'all. Hashtag Brews Nation. Ooh, later. We don't want no ham and cheese. We just want burritos, please. Yeah.